the very first place we went is an incredibly well-known tourist attraction in Greece called Monon Vassia. Very beautiful, probably one of the most photographed places right. in Greece apart from um, the Parthenon. It's, it's an island but it's connected to the mainland just by a causeway. Yeah. But it was nothing, there was nothing, it was like, it was just, in a sense, it was just a postcard. There was nothing beneath it. I really, I didn't give a damn. <laughs> I can't explain it to you, I was just bored. I was actually bored yeah. there and kind of disappointed. We drove back across to the mainland and we were going back towards Athens, kind of wondering whether the whole idea was the kind of fantasy that you yeah. could actually create this sort of visual and imaginative spark all in one. And we stopped on our way home in, in a Venetian town called Nafplion, and we sort of stopped to have a coffee in the square, feeling a little bit despondent. Um, this little boy ran into the square, probably eight years old, something like that, a little small, like a shrimpy, skinny little boy, <laughs> wearing a silver grey suit. And we both looked at him and thought, that's very unusual because kids in Greece don't dress up to the nines like that. All the other children in the square were wearing, you know, jeans and uh, sweatshirts and, you know, everyone else was totally normally dressed. I said, you've, you've just got to take a picture of that, that child. You know, he was running around on his own, not playing with any of the other children, but sort of, they were aware of him. Um, so he took a few pictures of him running, which are very sort of artistic and and he looked like a ghost. I mean, even now, I'm not sure that he was real. It was, it was a very um, unreal image, yeah. um, but absolutely, you know, happened. Um, and it was the beginning, really.